What is up you guys, welcome to Monster Energy Supercross, the video game, the longest title for a video game ever made. I told you guys I would go out and get it, I bought the uh, deluxe edition, it was $69.99 on the marketplace. I think worth it, because I think it's a really fun game, and I was going to get it for the Switch if I got the Switch, but I don't know if I'm going to get the Switch now, so by the time that you guys are watching this video, you'll see it. The only thing I don't like about this game, it's got some grisly loading screens and a lot of uh, skip, 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 mashing A kind of thing. I'm on a custom bike. I've played this game for a while. I'm level 96. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember what map we're playing up, but uh, I'll figure that out in a sec. Frame rate is a little wonky in the beginning, but it'll get better, as you can see. It's already better. The graphics, wild, dude. Buck. They're nuts. I think, honestly, probably the most realistic racing game I've ever played. It's similar to, um, I think it's a happy medium right between MX vs. ATV uh, All Out, or I guess just MX vs. ATV in general. All Out is not really a good description of any motorcycle racing game. Probably my least favorite. But, yeah, whenever I saw this first on the marketplace, I was like, Monster Energy Supercross, the video game. Like, first of all, listen to that title. Second of all, it's made by the actual Supercross company. I just don't see how it can be a good game. Running on the Unreal Engine, dude, it's it's nice. You can create nice ruts. You can ride them deep and hard. And the whips look so fat. The whips are kind of weird. I'll show you here in a sec. It's kind of like you have to go away from each other with the uh, sticks with each stick, like, the, you know, left stick goes left and the right stick goes right, or the opposite. And then you have to steer them back towards each other in order to get the whip back into order. Into, uh, into, ne into neat shape. But, you know, there's no supercross, or there's no freestyle tricks or anything like that, which is fine, because it's a supercross game. There's no freestyle tracks, there's nothing like that. There is a compound, but it's mostly just a couple racetracks. I will go into that later on and maybe do some track build or stuff and I'll go through all the aspects of the game because I really enjoy it and I think that you guys will enjoy watching it because the graphics are nuts. I have it on the easiest difficulty right now which you can probably tell because I'm a ways ahead. Oh, oh. Here's another feature that I'll show you just because I messed up right there. If you hit both of the sticks or if you hit both of the bumpers you can rewind similar to Forza like a Forza game where you can go back. There is a front brake and a back brake. Your A button, or I guess if you're on PlayStation, your X button is uh, your back brake, and your left trigger is your front brake, which can be effective in some real tight corners. If you hit the front brake, you'll go over the bars. So that's something to pay attention to. I just love that you can just lay out these nasty whips. One thing that I guess I would put into a comparison is uh, MXGP is almost too real, in which like you lean too far over with the right stick and you tip. And in this game, it's very minute, the the way that you can move with the right stick. The left stick, the turning, is great, comfortable. You can really rail corners, you can really hit ruts, and you can really spin the bike around if you need to. Like so. Uh, wheelies, it feels comfortable. It just, it's comfortable, man. It looks really good. I don't know why my, I think it's because the track is wet. That the, that the, the, uh, what was the word I'm looking for? The blowback, I guess. The roost is uh, white. I think it's because it's wet. There's a lot of really fun tracks, and there's a lot of tracks. And you can also buy... I bought the Deluxe Edition. I haven't gotten to play all the tracks. Maybe I'll go through and try and do maybe like a, some sort of a walkthrough and do a couple races per game and take you all through it. I honestly love it. I think it's my favorite Supercross game ever made. <laughs> like, MX vs. ATV Supercross was fun, but All Out made me so salty that I... like. I don't know if I can ever speak highly of it, which sucks because it's like my childhood favorite, but this one is next level. Yeah, that's why it took me so long to buy it, but I would recommend it to anybody who enjoys a Supercross racing game. It's it's very nice. It's comfortable. It's just sexy. I can't go on enough about these graphics. And uh, they do do, if you want to, the full event. You can do uh, qualifier and two heats and an LCQ if necessary. Achievements for the game? Relatively easy, worth a pickup if you want to just get a couple easy achievements. If you play through the championships, uh, for every single track that you place first in, which if you put on an easy difficulty should be easy to do, uh, for every track that you place first in, there's a 10 point achievement, so you can really rack them up. There's probably, I gotta say, it's a real Supercross game, so I gotta say maybe a solid, I don't know, 30 tracks at least? So that's pretty sweet. 
I like that. Infinite tracks to play. Even some of them have two. I believe there's uh, Anaheim 1 and 2, and then there's the... Uh, I don't know what comes with the DLCs. I'll have to look into that a little bit more. I did buy it, but we'll see. 